Welcome back to our channel, where we provide quick and easy tech solutions. Today, we'll be addressing a common issue with Eris modems, the blinking blue light. If your modem is blinking blue, don't worry, we're here to help you get it fixed in no time. First, let's understand what the blinking blue light on your Eris modem means. Typically, this indicates that the modem is trying to establish a connection with your internet service provider, ISP. It can also mean that the modem is in the process of updating its firmware. The first thing you want to do is check your cable connections. Ensure that the coaxial cable is securely connected to both the modem and the wall outlet. Also, make sure the power cord is firmly plugged in. A loose connection can often be the cause of this issue. Next, try restarting your modem. Unplug the power cord from the modem, wait for about 30 seconds, and then plug it back in. Give the modem a few minutes to boot up and establish a connection. This simple step can resolve many connectivity issues. If the blinking blue light persists, check if there's an outage in your area. You can do this by visiting your ISP's website or contacting their customer support. Sometimes, the problem might be on their end, and they'll be able to provide you with more information. If there are no outages and the light is still blinking, you might need to reset your modem. Locate the reset button on the back of the modem, usually inside a small hole. Use a paperclip or a similar tool to press and hold the button for about 10 seconds. This will reset the modem to its factory settings, so you'll need to reconfigure it afterward. If none of these steps work, it's time to contact your ISP. There might be an issue with your modem that requires professional assistance or even a replacement. Your ISP can run diagnostics and help you troubleshoot further. And that's it. With these steps, you should be able to fix the blinking blue light on your Eris modem. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more tech tips and solutions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.